Hello, welcome to another video, and today we're going to be talking about Sojourners, okay? So, with every single day, every single day that passes by, it appears that there's more news from Sojourners going to Bayern Munich, okay? There's, this is a very, very, very strong transfer rumor, okay? And a transfer that can happen this January, okay? Look at there has been many new sources that Shabby plans to offload many players like Frankie de Jong. Um, I I think it was Frankie de Jong. I think it was. He as well said about I believe so Mengeza as well. He said that he wanted to load him out, uh, loan load him out of Barcelona as well. And uh, who else was there? Uh, I think that was about it. Or Luke de Jong. I believe they talk about Luke de Jong as well. So obviously, Bar. Xavi is planning to sell a lot of players, and, and, and in that group of players, he has well discussed about Sergio Dest, okay? A very good attacking fullback, and that plays for the USMNT, okay? So, obviously, um, today we're going to be discussing about what could a move to Bayern Munich mean for Sergio Dest, okay? What could this move mean for Sergio Dest, okay? Let's begin, and we will be... Going on to the video right now. So, a new start, okay. So, Bayern offers a new start, a fresh new start to Sir Gino Dust, okay. Look, okay, if we really want to look at the, at the big picture here, look, okay, it's simple. Xavi does not want Sir Gino Dust um, at the Camp Nou no more, okay. And with the groin injury and with... Obviously, I believe that Sir Gino Dust won't have the enough time to prove himself that he should stay in Barcelona. I believe that the move will happen this January, okay? So, obviously, this move means a new start for Sir Gino Dust, okay? Obviously, Barcelona are right now in shambles, okay? Sir Gino Dust, um, in my opinion, and in many Barcelona fans' opinions, started off the season really good, okay? Because he played more as a right back. I mean, and he did play out of position. He was played as a right winger, okay? And when he was at the right winger position, he was playing amazing, okay? Although he was out of position, he was playing really good, okay? And uh, then um, he gets injured, and then Xavi gets in. And, uh, yep, you guys know the story. Sergio Ser Ser returns from injury, then Xavi is unimpressed with him, and then he wants to... Uh, wants to transfer him away from Barcelona for no apparent reasons, okay? Look at Sergio Nas returns from an injury, okay? Sergio Roberto is a player that has been, which is the other right back for Barcelona, is a very poor player, okay? Piss poor this season. And what type of excuse does he have, okay? So obviously, Sergio Nas obviously, um, for no apparent reason, is not wanted by Xavi and... Obviously, this offers um, him a new start, okay? If you look at the background, this is Leroy Zane, okay? A player that has been getting... That player that was very injury-prone with Man City, okay? He was very, very, very injury-prone, okay? He was apparently not wanted by Pep Guardiola. Transfers, for ba transfers back to Germany for, um, to Bayern Munich, okay? And then he balls out, okay? Obviously, he's not... He, he, he sometimes appears that... um. He's no longer the same physical dominating player that he is, but his skill level has gotten significantly higher now that he's in Bayern Munich, okay? So, obviously, that is one difference, okay? And, obviously, this is a prime reason why this could be a good move for Sergio Nas, okay? And, hopefully, with the music, I won't get copyrighted, okay? So, yeah. So, what is the next thing, okay? A more stable management, okay? If you look at Barcelona... My god, they have a very, very, very unstable management, okay? Look, okay, for, let's, start out, let's start off from Luis Enrique. Luis Enrique got sacked, okay? So, who's next? Federico Valverde, okay? Um, he does poor, okay? And who is he replaced by? I think he was replaced by Bosque. I think it, what he was. Yeah, I think, but he was the Real Batiste manager. Bosque was, I think it was. And then he does piss poor, replaced by Ronald Coleman, who was, who was, look, okay, Ronald Coleman is not that good of a manager, okay? Uh, I do not know why Barcelona decided to put a lot of trust in him, okay? Then they sack him, and then they now have Xavi, okay? And hopefully Xavi does good, 
But if he does bad again, Barcelona will continue to go down, okay? So obviously, a move to Bar Bayern Munich introduces more stable management, okay? Bayern Munich tends to change managers a lot, okay? I'm, I'm going to be honest, okay? Pep Guardiola, then they go to Carlo Ancelotti, then they sign, who was it? It was not Hansi Flick. No. It was this old, old guy. I, it was him, okay? He, he does a good job, but then he retires. Um, then they sign, uh, Neuville, I believe. I believe that was his name, Neuville, some guy from, that came from Frankfurt. Then he has a pretty mediocre first season, then does really poor the next. They sack him, okay? Then they have Hansi Flick, does really good. Then decides to coach to Germany. And now they have Julian Nagelsmann, okay? Obviously, Bayern as well are pretty unstable, but not unsta not as unstable as Barcelona, okay? Barcelona are in depth. They are an, an outdated club, okay? And they are in shambles, okay? So, obviously, Bayern Munich's situation, which they are economically thriving right now at the moment, okay? In this pandemic, okay? They are a really good financially smart team, okay? And obviously, th this can be mean many things for Sinjianas if he decides, okay? Because he will be getting better management from better managers and from better coaches, okay? So, yeah. Next is great development in his game, okay? Look at, just look at the background of this picture, okay? This is Alfonso Davies, the Canadian, okay? Look, at, if you look at f pictures from Sir Alfonso Davies while training in his Vancouver Whitecaps, you can see that a boy just be it just became into a man. If you look at this picture right here right now, okay, Alfonso Davies has become more significantly more muscular. Okay, if you look at Bayern Munich and their players, they are pretty muscular. If you fucking ask me, okay, players like Leon Goretzka, players like Alfonso Davies, obviously, Manuel Neuer is a fucking beast. Okay. Still at his age, okay, so pretty fucking impressive. Robert Lewandowski is as well pretty fucking muscular, okay? So, obviously, many Bayern Munich players are fucking muscular. And Sergio Das, that might... Just imagine Sergio Das, but actually muscular, okay? I would have just like to see that, okay? Ah, <sighs> yes. Okay, and this is just in case if he does not get enough playing time. If he is loaned out, he'll be actually be having good loans, Okay. Look, okay, there are clubs like Chelsea that loan a bunch of players out, okay? And some work and some do not, okay? But with Bayern Munich, I believe they are a smarter club when it comes to loaning out players, okay? So players like uh, Chris Richards right now, who is playing r really good right now out of Hoffenheim, okay? He had a really good playing three-game playing since, okay? He, he He's still a little consistent, but he's getting more consistent, okay? Serge Gnabry, another another example. I know he's a Bayern right now, but still, when he when he wasn't expected to get enough playing time with Bayern Munich, what did they decide to do? Loan him out to Hoffenheim, okay? And he gets some good minutes in. He plays really good. And now now look at who, what he is in right now. He is with Bayern Munich, okay? He looks like a really good player, okay? So obviously. Bayern Munich could do really good loans, okay? Tony Kroos was loaned out to Bayern Leverkusen, okay? I'm not saying that Sergio should be loaned out to Hoffenheim, okay? Bayern Munich can loan him out to Bayern Leverkusen, which is a pretty good club, okay? Pretty good Champions League to Europa League level club. They can loan him out there, and then he can get his minutes up, okay? Play real good with a pretty consistent team, okay? Then go back to Bayern Munich and... Like, you can see a future Bayern Munich um, really good right back, okay? So, obviously, yeah. So, now, I would just like to end this video off. Bye. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.